Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here. Doing a vlog today because we actually have some rain out there. It's been 26 consecutive days in Charlotte without measurable rain. Could we go 27? There's definitely a chance, but some point this weekend, I think we're gonna get some measurable rainfall for the first time in almost a month. It's crazy to think about that. So let's show you the front. This is great news in the mountains because remember, we've got a couple wildfires going on. I've been talking about this all week that this rain, while it is great, it is going to do little to nothing for the drought, but it will have a tremendous impact on the wildfires. You got to remember the wildfires, they don't need a soaking rain. I mean, it helps, obviously. Soaking rain would be great, but just getting higher dew points, higher moisture, and a little bit of rain knocks the flames down, knocks the fires down, really lets the firefighters get a heads up and get ahead of these fires. So the rain moving into the mountains this morning is great, and that's really what we have. That's the primary thing I'm focusing on right now, rain here in the mountains. But you meant I mentioned that in Charlotte, we might not see measurable rainfall today because I don't think we're going to see much rain make it down here to the Piedmont. What we're looking at right now is actually some um, backdoor front coming in and a front from the west. So the backdoor front, you can see it's actually cooler up towards Greensboro and into Virginia as this northeast wind develops. And the moisture is really not going to make it much out of the mountains. But this front will help push in the cooler air. And then what's going to happen this weekend, a wave of low pressure is going to form down here over the Gulf of Mexico and kind of move up along the front. And this is going to help throw moisture back into this cool air mass and probably give us a decent chance of rain as we go into Sunday. Now, there's a small chance today, 20, 30 percent, maybe 20 percent tomorrow. But on Sunday, the chance jumps up to about 40 to 50 percent. So there's some better opportunities there. And let's talk about that future cast. So our first piece of data is going to be the short range rapid refresh model. We look at this quite a bit for the short range updates every hour. It's really good for kind of giving an idea. You can see the rain tries to make it down to Charlotte later this afternoon. So our best chance, if we're going to see measurable rain today, it's going to probably happen in the middle of the day. But I'll be honest, the air is pretty dry. Could be a tough ask to get the atmosphere to help us out here. And then that pushes through and kind of dries out. So we start going into tonight into early Saturday. Saturday early morning hours, 3, 4 in the morning. Notice there's a bunch of rain to the south, not a much much to the north. So great news for areas to our south. South Carolina, Midlands towards the low country could get some beneficial rains. But you notice to the north, this is not making a lot of progress up into the Charlotte area. So there's a pretty good chance we might miss the rain most of Saturday. And you can see even in the afternoon, it doesn't look like a lot. So if you have plans for Saturday, don't be changing them or getting all worried about rain. If it does, it's going to be incredibly light. We'll go into Saturday night, and I'm going to stop this um, Saturday night roughly around midnight Sunday morning. You notice down here towards the Mississippi Delta area, um, down towards the mouth of the river, New Orleans, uh, Pensacola, Mobile, we've got a low pressure system that's going to try to move north up the coast. And as we get into Sunday morning, it looks like this low pressure gives us the best chance for some moisture to try to move inland. This is at 7 a.m., and this is where the short range guidance stops. This low pressure, depending on where it tracks, could be our best bet for rain. It could push back to the west, give us a better chance, but there's also a chance it stays down to the southeast, just like the rain today and Saturday, and we miss out completely. That's why it's great to see this, but this is not the saving storm system at all that really does anything for the drought. So let's look a little bit further into the future. So we'll look a little bit further and we'll go into Sunday morning. You can see the low pressure kind of hugging the coast, and this is not a great setup but it's our best chance. I mean, if this low can get a little bit further west, it might be our best chance of rain this entire weekend. But you see a lot of the latest guidance is keeping the low pressure further south and east, which keeps us dry up here. So there is a legit chance, even though we've got three days of rain chances, that it misses a lot of locations and most areas get maybe less than measurable, which is 0.01. That's a tiny amount. If we get a trace, it doesn't count. We need 0.01, which you know, it's crazy. We're getting excited for 0 0.01 just because it breaks the streak. Not that it does anything for the drought. As I mentioned, going through Sunday afternoon, the weather should actually get better as the day goes on. So for planning purposes, Sunday, if we're going to see rain, it's going to be early in the day. By afternoon and evening, it's going to be drying out. So again, another day I would not be changing or canceling plans. The rain chances, honestly, in this drought setup just aren't big. I mean, it hasn't rained for a month, folks. So worrying about rain right now is like one of those things like, Man, it would be a miracle if we got rain. It actually would be amazing. So I know it doesn't want to rain. I don't want it to rain on everybody's activities and parties. But man, we just need the rain. We can't be uh, being picky right now with this. So this is our 60-hour forecast here. I'll loop it. You could see maybe today, maybe Saturday, 
and maybe Sunday. But there's also the chance that this misses. That's why the rain chances are so low overall. You know, 20, 30% today, 20, 30% Saturday, and Sunday it's like 40, 50%. That's nothing to write home. We need 80% plus to be more confident in the forecast. And just to show you how little rain could fall, um, this is the, the forecast through 72 hours. Look at the amounts over the Piedmont. I mean, less than a tenth of an inch. That's, that's tiny. Even the long range, we go seven days into the future, you're looking at amounts. We'll start day one, two, three, four, five through seven. The amounts over the Piedmont are just close to nothing so this is not a drought buster it will do little to nothing i joked yesterday it's like being a million dollars in debt and somebody flips you a quarter yeah it's money but it does nothing to help you um and in this case this does nothing we need a lot of rain not i mean this would be great if it was up to an inch even a half an inch or more would be would be a huge help but getting less than a tenth of an inch that most of that is going to evaporate and be just in the very surface and not really do a runoff so I'm hoping we get more rain than that, but it's not looking great. And if you have weekend plans, the bigger story is going to be the cooler temperatures this weekend as we get wedged in, as temperatures get closer to average here in November.